So hello, everyone. My name is Ana Perez. I use she, her pronouns. I'm on the political education committee um, with Austin DSA. So tonight um, is the event is Red Square. It's our weekly political discussion event um, where we've had people come and give presentations about uh, various topics related to socialism. Um, we had one building a socialist party, um, the rank and file strategy. Last week we did Tony Mazaki, a labor leader. Um, and this week, um, Antonio Lomeli is going to give us a presentation about um, Frente Amplio in Uruguay, uh, which was a coalition of leftist parties um, that had a really successful 15 year period of um, like socialist policies. So very excited about that. Um, and then after the presentation, we can discuss the presentation. Um, any questions you may have just about Austin DSA, DSA in general, socialism, um, or current events and news. So um, yeah, with that. OK, well. Um... Hi, um, my name is Antonio. Uh, I hope you can hear me well. I'm gonna share my screen and... You gotta be a co-host. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, right, you can see it. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, the, this uh, invitation, uh, and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. And just to to share these ideas with you, uh, um, I I was here uh, the couple couple of weeks ago, and uh, it was pretty interesting. And I think the discussion you were uh, talking uh, earlier uh, it's going to be also quite interesting. So I'm going to try to be quickly, and just talk about uh, this uh, experience uh, of of social democracy that happened in in Uruguay. So. Basically, in in in, in I'm just going to talk about two things. First, uh, where does Frente Ampli come from, and when they were in in the government and during this 15 year period, um, uh, how they do it and what happened at the end, right? Um, so, in the first first part, um, so uh, we're going to talk about why. Um, as a, as many other uh, Latin American countries in that period and uh, during the sixties, they were like uh, struggling with this uh, economic um, way of producing and and, and economic growth uh, pretty pretty stagnated, and um, this uh, it, it was it was a, a, a different kind of uh, factors that end up building a, a Frente Amplio as a, as a part of an umbrella of several parties uh, from the left, uh, organizations and citizens. Uh, it's important to, to remark during this time, uh, there was this uh, national convention of workers uh, that was a full intention to, to gather uh, workers uh, outside uh, Montevideo, which is uh, the capital and, and the, the urban setting was more 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 important in, in the country, and at the same time they were fighting uh, um, against uh, well the establishment was was fighting against Movimiento de Liberación Nacional Tupamaros uh, since the beginning of the decade, and and as many other countries in that time, even though they have a multipartidism system, there were only two parties uh, that were like transitioning from from. Uh, one president to another one, uh, Partido Nacional y, y Partido Colorado. Um, so uh, this uh, last government of Partido Colorado uh, uh, had a, a repressive response uh, against uh, Tupamaro's uh, National uh, Liberation Movement. Um, uh, a, a, a repressive response also uh, against a, this uh, growing union movement. And uh, at the end of the decade in 71, uh, Frente Amplio uh, uh, borns uh, as, a, as, a, as a movement. Uh, one year after, after that, um, at the President Bordaberry uh, dissolved the parliament and uh, gathered uh, uh, this uh, Junta Militar, which is uh, uh, part of the armed force, um, in, in a period of di di dictatorship that extends to 85. Um, 
but uh, I mean, like, I'm sorry, I'm going back to Frente Amplio. It's in 71, February 71, uh, when Frente Amplio uh, convinced most of the Uruguayans uh, progressive sectors uh, that goes, uh, these were uh, part of the, of the, of the founders and uh, they have uh, socialist parties, a uh, communist party, but also Christian democratic parties um, and other movements, uh, the worker convention uh, students, media, and also citizens in general. And I think this is important because the first candidate they choose uh, uh, for, for, the, for the presidency, um, for, uh, it's uh, Liber Sereni, uh, who was a former military, uh, but was also um, uh, an independent, I mean, he was a citizen only uh, at that moment. Uh, so I think it's important to just mention that because uh, this part of the, the large audience because we see that even uh, within the, the, the armed forces that, that can be, uh, there can be dissidents. Uh, he was a presidential candidate, um, but then during the dictatorship, he became uh, one of the most uh, famous political prisoners uh, in, in Latin America. And after uh, his liberation in 85, he was also excluded for, uh, from any, any kind of political participation uh, in Uruguay. Uh, um, so that also uh, allowed to allow allow, allow to uh, other, other, other characters, other, other persons uh, within the Frente Amplio to to get more exposition, and finally they end up uh, winning uh, the capital city, and in 2005 they they won the first uh, um, national election. Uh, so Frente Amplio uh, is a product of, of multiple things. Uh, since the beginning, uh, this decade of, of this, uh, the 1960s, uh, the national crisis uh, that uh, and its authoritarian drift to this uh, uh, yeah uh, dictatorship in uh, in this period. Uh, also, they, they they were in that moment uh, a progressive alternative and a non-violent alternative uh, because uh, since it, it's a it's broad. This 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 thing. It's it's a uh, it's ideologically uh, wide. Um, one of the things was like including people uh, as uh, Tupamaros, who were uh, an urban guerrilla in that moment, and also uh, presenting at the same time as a non as a non violent uh, alternative. Uh, if you are interesting in in this period of the dictatorship, uh, this movie, uh, uh, it's a it's a it's just about one specific moment uh, during the dictatorship. But uh, I think it's interesting, and it also has to do with the involvement of the U.S. Uh, um, during the coup. So, uh, so I hope. Well, maybe it was too fast. Uh, I hope you. Uh, well, if you have questions, please interrupt. Um, but when, uh, after the, the dictatorship in 85, uh, there was this period called uh, uh, the democratic transition. And in 2005, uh, Frente Amplio uh, won the first presidential election. Uh, this year, uh, uh, well, uh, it's the uh, 50th birthday of the Frente Amplio. And still, this is uh, his uh, ideological principle. Uh, they presented this uh, force of change. I made a translation, but I think it, it captures the same, the same, uh, the same idea behind um, his um, project. So they, 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 even though they have a, a multitude of, of ideologies, uh, Tabaré Vázquez was a candidate. He won in 2005. Even he was part of the Frente Amplio. He, he, he represent. Uh, uh, the Socialist Party in Uruguay. Uh, in 2010, uh, Jose Mujica uh, won the election uh, with Frente Amplio too, but he was uh, also affiliated with uh, the uh, Movimiento por el Progreso Popular. And finally, in 2015, uh, the last period, uh, Tabaré Vázquez, uh, again, um, uh, is the president now uh, on the running independent flag. Uh, and I think, well, this is the 15-year period, right? Uh, it's uh, Tabaré Vázquez who, 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 who laid those foundations uh, for a social, uh, for like an economic stability and, and, and a first experiment, experience, sorry, uh, of social democracy. Um, 
he, he one of the of the first uh, uh, attitudes of this new government uh, was a pri priority, uh, a special priority on poverty. Uh, they start uh, um, uh, putting more 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 funds more, more funding on social programs. Uh, these are direct trans uh, direct transactions uh, from the government to the to families, and also they have a lot of things. Uh, uh, in in terms of the of the workers, um, I, I found interesting uh, uh, like seeing uh, charts in, in in walls like this. Uh, one of the of the major policies that, that they encourage in, in in this first period uh, was was uh, establish the the wage councils to have a better negotiation uh, in the private sector. Then later was extend um, to, to to the rural sectors and. Um, also, this uh, progressive tax, uh, tax reform, by lowering the taxes in, in consumption uh, um, and increasing the taxes uh, uh, for the profits, uh, they manage also to increase uh, the real wages and diminishing uh, the number of people. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not the quote. It's uh, 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 the percentage of people in poverty. Um, and, and they, they, they managed to reduce it with uh, 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 an economic growth. Uh, they modified the, the, the health system uh, and increased coverage. It's not 100% yet, uh, but I think uh, till 2019, it was around 75%. Uh, they create a national system of care. Uh, they advance a lot of gender uh, uh, equality policies and, and, and they follow this tax policy um, uh, to, to, to to do the less damage uh, uh, in, 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 the, in, in, in the low levels of the income distribution. Um, another chart in, in the world setting, that's cool. Uh, so finally, uh, yeah, uh, uh, this experience show that they can have uh, an economic growth. Uh, so social policies are inclusive and at the same time uh, reduce the gap in, in the income distribution. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, PBI is a gross domestic product, and here it says uh, inequality. So, well, the, the last thing is that, well, after 15 years, uh, they, they lost in 2019 the election. Um, and so one of the, uh, well, several, a couple of things uh, used to explain why they lost. It was because in, in these 15 years, but the movement, uh, it has 15, 50 years of, of experience, uh, there, there's a natural like um, un, un, un natural. Um, there's also this case of corruption and this kind of ethical deviation are always like hurrying more to the left and and even though they they, they, they can manage this uh, uh, certain uh, stability uh, and material conditions for the people maybe the Uruguayan society is not necessarily more uh, supportive to them and of course, uh, other explanations uh, emphasize um, the increase in, in, in crime, uh, the, the, the increase in, in crime incidents in, in the city, and economic stagna stagnation in the last period, and also who they choose for for the last uh, presidential run. And well, uh, I, basically that's it. And well, it, it's just an experience, uh, an interesting experience, and yeah. We, we, it's important, right? Not, not to look only just to, to a domestic uh, setting or, or a, yeah, that's it. Uh, that was great. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop the recording.